Hey guys, welcome back to Railroads Online. Now, I've just bought a loco because I've just figured we need three locos. Otherwise, we're shifting locos about. First job for this one. Oh, it's the ETWNC 280. ET is going to be calling these back. Um, we need. Well, let's talk about today's job then. Ironworks. Need requeet. Requeets. Requires. Four iron. Raw iron. One coal and three lumber. So, we're going to take, go and get lumber from this one. We need to, I've already taken the coal train back up. And our third loco, we need to take raw iron, won't it? Yes. I haven't thought about that one, because that one's in a completely different place as well. Now, we haven't connected the lines up here yet. Now, we do have a line running past this way, and we do have a line running past this way. So, we just need, need to connect them up. It's not that like I don't trust myself to drive it like this. I don't trust myself to be able to park it in the right place to get water. So this is obviously coal. So what my plan is, once we actually get these uh, to do that delivery... There's a break. There's a break. Stop short. So I'm going to sort this out. This will become our coal uh, train. Oh, yes, we didn't talk about the town, have we? Last night I was messing around to start building the town. Just to hide how horrible this track is around here, really. Uh, I'll probably extend it a bit over here as well, so we don't notice it. I think we're going to have some... Yeah, we've got another little engine, Fluffy, over there. Fluffy, yeah. Um, I think we might have something over here so we can actually park the engines. And I might do so around here to hide that to make that look a bit nicer from this side. I'm bored now. Always plummets me. I keep thinking of something. So this is now our most powerful engine. Well, it won't be by the end, but uh, I figure we need a lot of coal. So we need to go on that far left and. Uh, Firstly, I'm happy that this engine can get round to the track I've laid. Stop. That would have been a bit of a problem if it didn't. I did like when I laid this, but this is just somebody's house. They've just plunked it in the middle here because there's a bit of land here. They've put a nice little fence round. And then we've got the barn here without any animals or anything. And just a little way through. And obviously I've got the undertaker and uh, the church quite opposite to each other because, you know, it's going to happen, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I've got this set. I'm like, yeah. Do this the regular before the break. Especially around here, it's a blooming hilly. Once again, just looking at that for the break. Like that little hold up there. Well, 
Right, we get to go finally. This is only what, five minutes, six minutes, 11 minutes in already. Crikey. To end up being a, le a half hour video probably, and I've spent that much time doing this. Um, yeah. Question. No, I don't need the base one. Checks we can go under the bridge yet. I presume we can. Press was actually because the brakes seem really terrible. It feels funny having this size of engine with that few uh, few number of wagons. But that, yeah, this is forward thinking. I could have bought another smaller engine again, but uh, let's not waste the money on that, shall we? I'm not sure I trust my... I was a bit worried about that tree then. Has anything else sprouted? Sure, though. We're all set. Well, that's where we're going later. Not that way. Probably the only time this loco is going to come down here. As soon as we fill these up, then we're going to head up to the smelter. Let's check that the engine's still there. I don't see why it wouldn't be, but... Yeah. Yeah, I did put it in place, because I pretty much know what we we're doing. Now, you've got no steam, have you? Okay, 
Right, so I have put it in place. I built a little bit around here as well. We'll probably have to have a cold um, shoot down here as well now. Should have started this off while I talked about that. Right, since we've done this, we are going to straight over to the ironworks and work out on earth we're going to lay this track. Let's put those brakes back on the... Uh So, map. Go to here first. This is our junction. And then we have the other bit of track running around there somewhere. We should come off, go left. percent maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think we've got to do what we did up there. So I want it to go round the other side, be able to go that way and go this way. But also go back this way and go that way. So we need an X and we need... So probably go over there, then fix the track over there and then work out how we're going to do it. Well, let's take a chance that that's the place to put it. I purposely raised that so we could get this in because I was trying it just before I went back on camera again. That every time I kept that to the ground, no matter how far I went up, as soon as we put this in because it's not flat, that was it. Now the idea is this one will go up to there, this one will go down to there, but we do need to cross. Let's do that side first. I'll put these two in. I don't really want to use this one. But I want to line it up. So that one's exactly parallel. If I do a straight here now, it should be parallel. Now we don't have much space here, but here you go. leading to a 30, leading to a 40, and it's a little less around that side. And the other thing I haven't done is put any points here, which I probably should have to actually just another run around. Oh, you plonker. <laughs> Not exactly perfect, though. Not like the other side. Right, where's that idea? to see if our larger engine can get around that, can't we? Can't we? If not, we have to rethink it. Our next little problem is this nut doesn't work. Hopefully if we now need a right and that will connect. No, it's a, no, it's a left. Let's try right, actually. We're connecting to there, and we're connecting to there. We're very much manually doing this now. I press connect, and we just try it.
I can still see, I was going to say you can still see the whales. This is ugly. And that stems from this not being at the correct angle. I do need to have a, that line has to come up here. This has to converge with that with a set of points and then we have to connect it to there. Could, for a short while, could we do it? I don't want to do 3%. Oh, that's not good. Okay, um, most of it's 2.5. There's a tiny bit of 3 here. Still 2.5 here, and we have a tiny bit of three. As long as we can gain some speed, we'll probably be fine. It'll be interesting from these points down to on the left hand side what the uh, percentage is going to have to be. What I was keeping an eye on there is just really what the percentage was, and it's, it's two. So this bit's fine. We have to put another set of points in so we can go up to there. Set of points in that side can come across to here. I wonder if we should have gone left more. Um, it's in the grass, but it's visible. We could take this up a tiny bit more. fine I think. So we need to set points down there now and then we just need to connect um, from here to the set and from here to the set and then we're done. Oh I forgot we haven't put this set of points in yet. We need to put another set of points to go. Okay, so we are fully connected now. Right, while I'm setting all the points and stuff, I've just noticed I've got... There's an oversight, and I've done all this. We can do it. It delivers down that way. Great. But what if we have to do the delivery this way? And we do. So this is the smelter, of course. I just noticed we've run out of corporate once again. So engine it was all ready, we did it earlier. We do have a set of points here. Go that way. I did think of it when I did that. But then as we come around here, come around here, and here. There isn't anything. Okay. So we have to go up a little bit steeper. Game. It's, not, it's not the best, is it?
that's fine, let's see if we can just connect it. Right, Glenn's ready. Off we go. How badly can this go? Should I really be taking the controls off? You know what I should be doing? Oh, he's off. Ah. Well, Glenn's this more engine, so... Again, my only problem going around here. Probably. Actually, the PSI was quite low, actually, then. We have to think of what we're going to do there, though. So, although we fixed it at this end, we haven't fixed it at the other end. <laughs> do I need to rebuild the track there completely? Right, we haven't read this bit of track yet. Be interesting. Right, hopefully the points are set correctly. This one's not set correctly though. So it's going left. Or is it? thinking how little we've actually delivered here compared to how much it can take. This one's got to go back up again, doesn't it? Yes. It needs to go out of the way. You know, I thought I'd just cut to here. It's so much easier going downhill than up, isn't it? 35 miles an hour. 37, 40. I like this bit of tracks. It's straight. Let them just open up. And we've got that corner coming up, which I have to then break for hard. 44, break, there you go, 
but we are going to go... Is it lumber? Yeah, I think it's the lumber next. For me, it seems like a long time ago we were here last. for this engine, really. So hopefully we're not too, uh, the corners aren't too tight for it. This is the one we had to say, because we were coming from the other direction earlier. What speed are we going now? Uh, 20. The regular is only 24%. I'm sure we could actually do that to actually raise it even more. Screenshots. Hopefully, one of those will be used for the uh, video. I'm going to park this around the other side because I want to swap the engine for this one with the next engine. So this one needs to start here.
Okay, so it's our largest engine. Can we get round here? Yeah, it's not pretty, but we can get round here. swap the loads over. The other one goes this way back round. And this one can reverse it and go and get the load from here. So this one we've Started today, I forget. I completely forget. This is going to drop quite quickly in a moment. Buy some more coal wagons as well. Because I think the engine can take more. Than. What I might do, just like with the previous episode previous two episodes ago is actually do a separate video where I just do the, uh, the driving. I'll do an uncut video or we'll all three again. But, uh, it's, the video's too long if I make it uncut and do the building together. So we're taking a junction left. Oh, look at the reflection. Huh. I noticed that before. Cool. Well, that, those are the points which are going to the new bit of track, probably next episode, I imagine. Right, our 
have these points set correctly. There's another train just over there. Parked, you can probably just see it. There it is. This is the smelter which we're just going through now. I should, uh... In time. Oh, he did. Wow. Well, 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 well. Make sure these are working so. Again, one thousand. <laughs> problem. Well, so do we have, yep, we do. Sixteen out of a hundred. 6,500. So the last job is just to swap the engines over. Points are wrong. Points are wrong. This bit of runaround track too short.
That's good to see both engines there. So, in between the tombstones I will take it back and get a load more cordwood. Okay, right, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button. If you see more, please subscribe and press that ding-dong bell button. You know what it does. See you next time. Lazy bye.